Hi, uh, Dave. And uh, I'm a chem professor in, uh, in a university in Western Pennsylvania, USA. Um, I'm working on a number of uh, secondary cells, uh, rechargeable batteries, uh, particularly with stainless steel. And uh, what we have here is I'm using a uh, magnesium, aqueous magnesium sulfate heptahydrate, Epsom salt in water, electrolyte. And uh, I've got some matting in there. Looks like it's made out of a polyurethane. And uh, you can pick it up in the dollar store. I'm using that as my insulator, my separator. And uh, what we have there is an electrode elemental bismuth. Bismuth is very interesting. It's being used in lieu of uh, lead because of the health problems with lead. And uh, bismuth is the most diamagnetic metal known. And it's finding more applications in industry. And uh, I have a big sheet of it. So I figured I'd work with that. I'm also working with uh, uh, other uh, YouTube videos. We'll show you uh, I'm working with uh, zinc with stainless steel. It's a low, uh, the lower grade stainless steel for scouring. It's a scouring pad, and uh, it's magnetic, very low nickel, if any, content. It's standard uh, chromium, and. Uh, I charged it up. I'm using a uh, 5 volt AC DC. Delivers 5 volts, 500 milliamps. And uh, I charged the cell up. I've been doing it only for about 5 minutes because of uh, gas evolution. And uh, goes up to about 2.2 .2 volts. It's not, the EMF is not at equilibrium yet. So it's down around 1.85 volts. And it draws a nice current, short circuit. There's an open voltage, of course. Uh, and I would imagine this will drop down uh, to about 1.6 volts. If I'm lucky, it might even be 1.7. So we'll let it reach equilibrium. And uh, you get a nice current, too. Um, started off at about uh, short circuit about 190 milliamps so I want to see how this bismuth uh, performs in vis-a-vis uh, -vis steel stainless steel with uh, zinc and I'll upload results and go along I'm definitely interested in self discharge rates in the lead and the bismuth cells over 24 hours and uh, I really want to see how how much the potential drops the the zinc has been stabilizing at about 1.5 volts plus or minus 0 0.3, 0 0.03. So I am uh, holding holding pretty well with uh, the zinc, and we'll see where the bismuth comes in. Here, let's take a look. Over here, I have the zinc, stainless steel, same setup with the uh, zinc. Now, what I do because zinc is the sacrificial anode, so to speak. It's the anode. Um, I use a smaller amount. There's pretty good surface area with the stainless steel. But I'm using intentionally a smaller amount of the uh, zinc and uh, bismuth because you see that cranks the current up. Let's see where we're getting. There's the zinc. Yeah, about 1.52 volts. This has been about 24 hours, so it's holding up pretty good. And uh, as I said, I go with a smaller amount of zinc, smaller surface area, and now the bismuth, because uh, and uh, it boots the uh, amperage up. Yeah, we're about 1.78 now on the on the bismuth. So we'll see tomorrow what it's like, and I'll upload it. Uh, uh, progressions as we go along here to uh, 
YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye.